In this tutorial series, we're going to take a look at Adobe Captivate, which is an e-learning development tool. So I'm going to go over here and launch Captivate right here. So Captivate is from Adobe. So it's, uh, um, it's a developer of other creative cloud softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator, and so forth. But Captivate stands out a bit. It is quite different uh, than the other software that is there. So you can see that this is Adobe Captivate right over here. And as I open up the software, I got three options right here. I can access the recent uh, recent files right over here from this section. If you want to create a new document, then you press new right over here. And if you want to uh, access other resources, then you simply click on resources on the right side over here. So we're going to work around with creating a new project now. So I'm going to go around here and here you can see that there are six options right over here. So one is the responsive project, as you can see, the other one is the virtual reality project, which has been added in recently. You can also start with a blank project and also create software simulations, even video demos, and you can even import a PowerPoint slide and then work around with it as well. So let's start up with Captivate. Let's see the interface um, of Capi uh, Captivate right here on the top left side that is responsive project right over here. So let me just click on this right over here and click on create. So once I click on create, it loads the theme right over here just like this. So over here, you can see that on the top side, there are uh, like elements that you can work with, for example, text, shape, objects, you can insert media, interaction, on so forth, and even all the publishing settings, recording settings are all here on the top side. On the left side, you can see that the, this is where the slides are collected. So you can go over here onto the top left, you can add in slides, like let's say, for example, if you want to add in a content slide, you can add in a content slide, and you get its option over here on the right hand side where there's the property. So you can change the uh, preview height, the side, slide height and so forth. Everything you can change it out around here. Also, I selected the responsive view. So there's like a handle right here uh, to actually uh, squeeze and drag it out. So, so uh, I can see the result in different type of screens. You, you can also choose the layout right here. For example, in desktop, it sees like this. In iPhone, it, it is displayed like this. In Google Pixel, it is displayed like this and so forth. So you can even choose uh, the layout preview right over here, as you can see. So what, what else you can do is you can go over here and add in elements as well. So you can go over here onto the shapes right over here and then add in, um, bring in shapes like these, for example, drag that in and then uh, arrange that out just like that. So you can go over here, change out the shape, shape right here and so forth and go over here onto the right side and choose different properties for the shape as you can see right over here. You can change the color, you can add in gradient and so forth. Everything is right here. So on the bottom hand side, you can see that there's the timeline as well. Let me just maximize this. On the bottom hand side, you can see that there's the little timeline and each of the slide right over here are associated with timing. So timeline is there. So if you were to go over here onto the timeline, just like this, you can see that this slide is associated with around two seconds of time timeline just like that. So two, three seconds right there. So this is the timeline right over here. And this is where we work around with a lot of contents and time management uh, in Adobe Captivate. So you can see right over here as well. You can see that, that there's menu uh, options for quiz, audio, video, and everything else out there. And even in Windows, you can see that you can turn off the film, film strip, which is the left side, that's the slides. There's the timeline at the bottom. You can enable and disable, uh, disable it. You can turn off the library right over here on top right over here as well, as you can see. So there's a lot of features right over there. So basically there's options on the top uh, where you bring in the elements from, option from the left where you manage the film strip, timeline at the bottom and other properties, everything on the right. And we're going to uh, continue on with this and see different options on how we can work with Adobe Captivate and build up an interactive lesson. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.